Hey everybody, I um, just got um, finished making Kyla's boots. Um, my, my, um, what I wanted to do on these boots was actually put a cuff on the top, um, but I just couldn't get it to look right. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and um, um, make these um, slouch boots. I mean, I could just leave them the way they are, but I think they just would be cute uh, with some other, another option on them. So I was playing around with elastic, and I put a strip of elastic in here to make them slouch, like slouch boots, and I really didn't like that look. So um, what I, um, I'm going to do this in white thread so you can see what I'm doing, but um, when I actually do it for real, I'm going to um, use a dark thread um, so you can't see my stitching. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, um, I'm going to start oh, I don't know, about right here in the um, boot area here. And I'm just going to do um, a stippling uh, stitch. And I'm only going to catch a little tiny bit of that front fabric because I don't want it to show very much on the front. So I'm just going to uh, tie a knot. And this is heavy-duty quilting thread. I'm going to go underneath the fabric so you don't see my stitches, but I'm putting my stitches on top so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to uh, go around this whole area. I'm going to do it um, just randomly. There's going to be no rhyme or reason to where I go. Um, if it's easier for you to think about uh, uh, think about sewing this, just uh, sew a pair of um, bunny or um, not bunny ears, um, cat ears, to the top of this. Um, so a, so a set of cat ears in here, or um, bat ears. Okay. But like I said, I'll be underneath the fabric so you won't see these stitches and they won't get in the way when you're putting the shoes on and off. Okay, and one more. Okay, so we knotted the front. So basically, we just we just went in a random pattern around the boot. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, take these stitches and we're going to pull them. Um, pull it and even out these stitches. Okay, so once you get a design that you like, um, you can just tie this off. But I wouldn't tie it off until you get something that you actually like in the front of the boot. Do you see what that's doing to this boot? It's making it um, slouch. Okay, if you don't like the way it slouches, pull tighter or make smaller stitches. Yeah, I mean, you're totally in control of what you do with your boot. It's your design. You decide what you want and how you want your slouches to go. Okay, that one I should have gone up and down more because, see, the slouches are going sideways. And I really don't like that look. Okay, so I would take that out and try again. So another option you have, too, on these um, slouch boots, if you don't like um, where you put your slouches, you can take a regular um, a regular needle and thread. So instead of doing the running stitch like I just did, you can go in and take one stitch, come up, take another stitch, and then you can just tie it off. So all you'll see is little stitches with little knots on the inside of your boots. And there you go, you've got a little buckle, just the way you want it. It's like doing soft sculpture, so um, you decide how many how many uh, scrunches you want or how many slouches you want in your boots, and that's just another option. But like I said, the easiest way is probably to, um, before you sew your Velcro on, just put some buckles in here so that um, when you sew it on, the slouches will automatically be in the shoe. But, you know, for me, that was an afterthought, so... Anyway, that will give you um, the slouchy look on your boots. 
I think it'll be cute. Uh, it gives you some interest to the boot. It's also good when you're making costumes, like if you're going to make a pirate costume. So not only can you do the slouching, you can actually do a cuff on the top of your boot. So anyway, I'm going to play with this and get the slouches in the area the way I like them to slouch. And then I'll um, show you the finished boot when I um, do the um, uh, beret video. slouch boots. So, okay. So that's, you know, just another option on these boots so you can have some variety so they don't look all the same. Another thing is those, um, I don't know if you've seen them, but um, they're the uh, rain boots where they just have some elastic around here. You can do the same thing. You can put the elastic in and uh, do your boots and then put your Velcro in so that um, it's all sewn right in directly with the Velcro. But anyway, there's another option for um, boots. So your boots don't all look the same way. So anyway, there you go. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.